Hi everyone, I'm Jeanette from Hunter and today we're reviewing Campaigns Advanced Settings, which is where you can further customize and manage your campaigns. And we'll be reviewing the settings, templates, and unsubscriptions pages, but in case you need an overview of how to use the campaigns tools itself, I do recommend checking out our full tutorial that we have in our help center first and then revisiting this video later. So let's get started with the campaign settings sending window. Here is where you're able to select a default schedule for when your emails and your campaigns can be sent. So you can select the days and the times from which you would like your email sent. Keep in mind, we do recommend selecting a minimum of two days. And if you like to adjust the time frame, you can do that here. Let's say you prefer normal business hours. If you need to adjust your time zone, you can do that here as well by clicking on the question mark and changing your time zone. And below this, we have an average delay between emails. So you can play around with this, but this is the delay between each email message being sent. So you can select between 30 seconds to 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. And one reason you might want to adjust this is to mimic a more natural sending pattern. And below this, you have the option to select to prioritize follow-up emails over initial emails. Now, as a reminder, this is a default sending window on your account level, but within each campaign, you could actually select a different sending window, which would override this default schedule. So now let's move on to email accounts. So here is where you'll connect email accounts used to send your emails within campaigns. And at the moment, we support Gmail, Google Workspace, Outlook, Microsoft 365, or even an SMTP or IMAP connection. Now, as a reminder, the number of email accounts that you can connect will depend on your subscription. If you do need to include more email accounts, if you click on the question mark here, there is an option to do so. Now below this, we see I have two accounts already connected. There are some individualized customizations we can do on each account level. So we'll go ahead and click edit. And here we can review the number of emails that are allowed to be sent within a 24 hour period. So this will depend on your email server. So for Google accounts, the max limit is 400 emails every 24 hours and for Microsoft or SMTP or IMAP, the limit is 250 emails every 24 hours. However, keep in mind, we do recommend setting a limit of no more than 100 emails every 24 hours. Now, if you have a Google account, you will have a couple of options here at the bottom. So you see that we can adjust the sender name, which will show up in the from section of your email. And you can also select an alias if you have that set up. If you do have questions about how to set up an alias, we do have a separate help article for you that I recommend checking out. All right, so now let's move on to custom domains. So if you have a paid plan, here's where you can enter your own custom domain to track your campaigns, opens and clicks, and this can help you monitor your deliverability and sending reputation more closely. And if you're interested in getting this set up, there are some technical elements that we won't be covering in today's video, but we do have a full guide in our help center. So I recommend checking that out as well. Now, moving on to webhooks. Webhooks are notifications about various events that occur for your sent emails within your campaigns. And these notifications can be used to integrate Hunter with other applications. So again, with webhooks, there are some additional technical steps, but we have that outlined in our help center. So I recommend checking that out if it's something you're interested in integrating. And finally, we can review the unsubscribe sentence. So here is where you can edit the default unsubscribe sentence that will appear at the bottom of your email if you include to choose it in your campaign. And similar to the sending window, within each campaign, you could actually customize your unsubscribe sentence there, and that would override this default unsubscribe sentence that you set here. 
So that covers the settings page. Let's move on to templates. So in the templates section is where you can create and manage your templates to use within your campaigns. So if you'd like to create your own template, you'll select new template here at the top right and you can compose your message very similarly to how you would do so in the campaign itself. If you need any um, inspiration, if you see here at the top right, there is a browse option and it'll redirect you to our cold email templates directory where we have hundreds of templates that you can review and choose from. So let's say we see this one here. This one looks interesting to us. Go ahead and click in and then save in my templates. And from here, you can further customize it. So let's say we would like this to be named sales link, for example. And let's say we want to add in something else. For example, here's my link and we'll select create. Now it's available to use within your campaigns directly. If you would like to modify it again, you just simply click in here and modify the content or you can even delete it here at the bottom. Okay, so that covers templates. Let's move on to the unsubscriptions page. So here is where you have a list of all the leads that have unsubscribed from an email campaign. And when a recipient unsubscribes from an email, the unsubscribe preference is actually applied on your account level. This ensures that re the recipient's preference will be applied to all your connected email accounts that are being used to send emails. Also keep in mind, all bounced emails are automatically added to this unsubscription list as well. And any email on this list cannot be contacted again. And that means we'll prevent an email from being sent, even if you accidentally add it to a campaign. In case you need to manually add in a domain or email, you can select new here at the top right, and this will allow you to manually enter that in. And there is a download in CSV option if you need to download the list. All right, so that concludes our overview of campaigns advanced settings. If you do have more questions, I recommend checking out this help article where we have all these details laid out for you. If you need more help, I recommend reaching out to our support team through the chat here on the website, or you can email us at contact at hunter.io.